Hey, all right. Salam alaikum, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. A wonderful, big, huge, beautiful Ramadan Mubarak to you all. I pray that you're all doing well. I pray Allah is making it easy on you. I cannot believe that this is our third day of fasting. May Allah accept. May Allah accept. May Allah accept. Whew! Taught are we prayers. COVID has changed my life when it comes to Ramadan. I mean, I'm sure as it has changed all of our lives, but I'm experiencing a whole new world of Ramadan, honestly, honestly, Lula, honestly. Taught are we prayers. So I know that, you know, we're still on lockdown, obviously, most of us anyway, we're still on lockdown, we're still quarantined, and no masjids are open, at least, I mean, not publicly open. And we're at home. So especially for those who live alone or my reverts out there or those who don't have the Quran memorized in its entirety, basically, we're sitting here wondering like, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? How am I gonna pray to the at home? You know, Alhamdulillah, mashallah, for those who have the whole entire Quran memorized, those who are able to lead their families in prayer and pray to at home on their own. This has shed a whole new light on my on emphasis of memorizing the Quran, basically. Like it's been a major reminder of how important it is to memorize the Quran. Like that's something I've been reflecting on for the past three days now, since Ramadan started, basically. Like, whoa, you know, we have been stripped down to our absolute basic necessities, our basic needs. And once everything is taken away from us, away from us, we realize what's important, you know, having Quran in our minds and in our hearts. And it's 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 created a whole new thought process of what I need to be looking for in a husband, okay? Like you know, we are, every day we're, we're going on about our day, thinking about day-to-day -day things and thinking about the shallow stuff, basically. And it made me stop and think, man, this is a quality I need to look for in my husband. Like, do you have the Quran memorized? Or not even that you have to have it memorized, but are you striving to memorize the Quran? Because if we have a family, you know, it's me, you, and the kids, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me like, what are we going to do? Because none of us have the Quran memorized in its entirety. And I'm not even going to lie, like, I have been slacking. I have been absolutely slacking. I have not even attempted to memorize any more Quran um, for like the past couple years now. So alhamdulillah for this. Alhamdulillah for this moment to reflect and realize what's truly important. I want to be able to recite the Quran in its entirety. I want to be able to encourage others to do the same. I want to be able to leave my house or find a husband who can lead our household. And I can teach my children Quran. You know, that's so important. Um, but, but there are always options, right? So I was you know, listening to a few scholars and from what I was hearing, the majority are saying, if you pray Tarawi like through watching it live online or something like that, then your prayers won't be valid because of several different factors. I mean, Tarawi is not obligatory. Let's first clear that up. Tarawi is not obligatory. However, it's such a wonderful and beautiful aspect of our deen and aspect of ramadan that we all enjoy and we all want to be able to do right um so of course no one wants to miss total prayers and those intentions are absolutely pure but you can still listen to lectures read your quran at home you can um make extra prayers uh on your own as well if you don't have the quran memorized however again there are still more options so i have been praying total prayers I've been praying Tadawi prayers. And I have been able to pray Tadawi prayers because I have a Quran that has the Arabic, the transliteration, and the English. So for those of you who don't know what transliteration is, it's basically how to pronounce the word 
in that particular language. So I have this wonderful, beautiful Quran, which I got several years ago. It's called Tojweed, Tojweed Quran with meaning translation. So it has the Arabic, the transliteration, and it has the English. So I'll just go ahead and open it up. So the source that I do not know, I have been reading the transliteration when I pray. And there are schools of thought that allow you to read the kitab while you're praying. So that's what I've been doing. So for instance, we have the Fatiha. You have the Arabic on this side and the transliteration on this side. As you can see, if it's not flipped, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Maliki yawm din Okay. We all know the Fatiha, or at least most of us. But those of you who don't, you can learn it by reading the transliteration. So, like I said, the surahs that I don't know, I've been reading the transliteration while I'm standing in prayer. So, for instance, we have like Surah Baqarah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. It's a little choppy now. It gets a little choppy now. But it gets the job done. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alif Lam Mim. Salika al-Kitabu la rayba fi. La rayba fi. Huda lil muttaqeen. Allazina yumumin. Yumminuna. You get the point. You get the point. It gets a little choppy because obviously I don't know the whole Quran and I don't know all of the Arabic words in the Quran. So sometimes I have to go back and try to correct myself. But it gets the job done. So I've been, I've been reading a, one juz a night. And it takes me about the same time it would take if you were at the masjid. It takes me about an hour and a half to cl a little closer to two hours. And it, like I said, it has transformed my ramadan in the sense of i'm i'm feeling the struggle that the imams and the other reciters go through like you're when you're reading out loud and you're praying like your voice is cracking your throat is getting dry and it's just this striving this deeper level of striving for allah that's just so beautiful which i i didn't even know like I, I, I always pray Tarawi prayers at the masjid, but reciting it myself and praying, it's just a deeper level of connection that I'm feeling with the Quran. And alhamdulillah, I've been able to do it because I have, I have this Quran. And I highly suggest, again, that you all, uh, if you can, order this. I actually ordered it on Amazon a few years ago. And... I didn't read it that much. I didn't use it that much because I typically read out of this Quran, which I'm sure all of us or most of us have seen or use. So yes, um, this has definitely been a game changer for me, at least for this Ramadan. And you know, Allah is the best of planners, Allahu Alam. Maybe this is one of the reasons we have COVID so we can turn back to Allah in a deeper and more sincere way, honestly. And we can have a, a truly a deeper connection and love for the Quran, love for Allah, love for his word, love for Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So after I finished reading Taraway, and once I read, recited that juz, then I do go back to this Quran and I read that juz in English. So I can get a deeper understanding. And also, this is the first time, the first year that I started taking notes. So I also started taking notes about what I'm reading in the Quran and what I'm understanding and grasping from, from what I'm reading. So typically, you know, before in the past, I was reading the Quran so I can finish the Quran in 30 days. So that was the goal. Like I wanted to be able to say I finished the Quran in 30 days. But honestly, now, like, that's, that's not the goal. The goal is to, I mean, the goal is to deeply understand the Quran. The goal is to reflect on the Quran. This is the month that the Quran was sent down. So the goal is to, is to develop a deeper, meaning, more meaningful relationship with Allah's word, a deeper understanding. And so that is my goal this year is to truly gain a deep understanding 
for the Quran and Allah's word and to find gems in what I'm reading. Uh, and it's 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 been a, a beautiful experience. I mean, I know I know we're only three days in. I'm, I don't know why I'm doing six. We're only three days in, but it's absolutely amazing, and I'm truly enjoying every aspect of worship this Ramadan. Like it's it's up to my game, and inshallah, it, it continues to be that way. So when I was praying Tadri prayers um, last night, I did 16 rakas. And the night before, I did 12. So with Tarawih prayers, you can do between 8 and 20. Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he did 20. And yeah, so I'm kind of building myself up to the 20 because I don't want to get burned out. So I'm hoping that by the last 10 nights of Ramadan, I'll be praying the 20. That's my goal, to be praying 20 each night by the last uh, 10 nights of Ramadan. And... Typically, you take a break after eight rakas during Tarawih prayers. Um, so what I did is I'll take my break. I'll find a short lecture on YouTube. Last night, I listened to Omar Suleiman. He had a lecture. It was called Hold Your Pen. It was about five minutes. And so I'll sit there and I'll, you know, drink my water. I'll listen to the lecture, reflect on that. Then I'll finish my Tarawih prayers. So it's been, like I said, it's been an absolutely beautiful experience. Um, and also, also, I want to say as well, um, before the Tarawih prayers too, I listened to a lecture, um, Yaqeen Institute, they're doing uh, 30 for Quran, 30 for 30 for each night of Ramadan. One juz, they're covering one juz each night for the night of Ramadan. Um, and they're talking about uh, the meaning um, in each juz and what it covers. So I listened to that and it's about 30 minutes. Uh, 30 35 minutes long and then I go ahead and make my total weight prayers which lasts about an hour and a half hour and 40 minutes or so um, so I'm I just I'm really encouraging you all like I said we have we, we still have all of Ramadan left in shot a lot so I would highly suggest getting a Quran that has a transliteration um, ordering it off Amazon wherever you can find it basically and try to pray total weight um, Tower weight at your house. You can do it. You know, there are so many options. Allah knows our intentions. I pray Allah accepts, you know, our intentions and our genuine efforts. Um, no matter what way we choose to worship this Ramadan, I pray Allah accepts our duas and accepts our fast and continues to give us the strength to, to carry on. And I pray that we receive the blessings that this month has to offer, that we're all expiated of our sins and that we come out with a with with a deeper connection to Allah, a, a improved relationship with Allah, and that we carry um, what we've learned in Ramadan uh, throughout the remainder of the year. So I'm just super excited. I'm super happy. Like I said, it was a game changer, changed my life. I hope I didn't leave anything out of this video, but I'm gonna end it here. If you have any questions, comments concerns please leave them in the comment box below or you can dm me on instagram at diaspora underscore ukti i'll put that name in here again like i always do instagram is the best way again to reach me you can dm me on there i will respond um yeah please if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and i'll talk to y'all later bye